case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a notable ruling by seventh circuit court of appeals gary bielfeld a trader in u.s treasury notes and bonds was unsuccessful in his attempt to offset his trading losses against his ordinary income of more than three thousand dollars per year the case, Bielfeldt v. Commissioner, was decided in 2000 and hinged on the distinction between dealers and traders in the financial market and the classification of treasury securities as capital assets. Bielfeldt's argument revolved around asserting his status as a dealer rather than a trader, insisting that his transactions helped stabilize auction prices for treasury securities. Nevertheless, the court disagreed with Bielfeldt's self-identification as a dealer. It characterized him as a speculator, a market participant who seeks to make profits from interest rate fluctuations as opposed to a floor specialist with the task of maintaining an orderly market environment. The court also refuted Bielfeldt's claim that treasury securities do not qualify as capital assets. It went further to underscore that a trader who merely structures their operations similar to that of a floor specialist does not automatically warrant a dealer recognition by the Internal Revenue Service, IRS. Firmly siding against Bielfeldt, the court decided in favor of the commissioner, thereby limiting the ability of the trader to offset his losses to just $3,000 per annum. Additionally, the court dismissed Bielfeldt's claim about Treasury securities not being capital assets and clarified that the IRS does not recognize traders mimicking the work of floor specialists as dealers. It declared a statute that allows traders to adjust their year-end market value as irrelevant in this particular case. Case briefs and so much more. LS data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.